around here. Hail, this is Elgrim. And we're very proud and happy to say that we finally achieved our goal on our crowdfunding project uh, that we're working on with Michael Astorita over at Iron Mountain Armory, or JapaneseArmor.com, uh, hyphen.com that is. Uh, he had said that he would match us dollar for dollar. Uh, and this was a $2,000 piece, maybe more. Over two. It's two something. Two, like yeah, two, it's 2000 four, something. two, three, something like that. Yeah, it's, it's. But he would match dollar for dollar, which is actually more than dollar for dollar. Uh, and help us get these really nice shirts. That's right. So, so anybody who donated to help us uh, achieve this, which was only a, only a thousand dollars for him to send us, well, we have a, we have a letter from uh, from Iron Mountain Army right here. Oh yeah, it's a very nicely. Written. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Uh, dear Mr. Godfrey and Mr. Monk, uh, thank you for honoring us by testing our samurai armor on your YouTube channel. We have enjoyed watching your many videos and are looking forward to future videos. We are very happy to craft your next suit of armor to be tested on your show. I trust you will find our armor to meet your expectations and hope to exceed the expectations of your viewers. Included in these packages will be the armor you requested to sample through the funding of your viewers and Mr. Astorita of JapaneseArmor.com. You will also find the t-shirts for you and your viewers. Finally. You will find some extra items that were added at the request of a true fan from the UK who wanted you to have all the needs, uh, all your needs fully met to test our armor. He and Mr. Astrida worked together to fund more items for testing on your show. Thank you again. It was an honor to craft your armor. We hope to craft new armors and accessories for you to review and test on your future shows. If we can ever be of any assistance, please tell us. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can you can definitely tell this was uh, probably translated. Uh, this is from Bruce Tao, the armory manager, uh, with uh, the Chinese character signature. Uh, that you, that's, that's how beautiful. I know it's translated. And a, and a seal. He actually has the seal. Yes, the seal here. Uh, so it's beautiful. official. It is official. In plastic. Yeah, I mean this is sure a really nice finish. letter. I mean it feels really good. I'm gonna hang that on the wall. I'm gonna frame that. Yeah, we should frame that letter. You know, it it, it should hang right here in the office near the stuff. I think that shows they enjoyed our extreme testing because we've gone further. I mean, I, my belief. I'm we not do saying, go further than we go further than most people would. With oh, and we're gonna and, we're, and that's the thing we're gonna do with this. Now, this is fitted for Thrand, uh, not me. Uh, we we made sure to try different. I, he tried on my Kabuto earlier, and, and it, it was just extremely it just, large, and it doesn't even fit. Watch. Large I'll, I'll show well. you real quick just before we proceed to the next step. Here, thank you. Yeah, so it looks like uh, you'll be testing just so on you'll me. know this. This yeah, I'll be testing on Thrand because I don't have. So everybody will probably be happy. I can't with wear that. this. I think you all will be happy. It's with too that. loosely fit, and I'm assuming yeah. the dough is the same. Because everybody complains that I never, I'm never in the armor when uh, it's tested. So I well, thought that was actually kind of cool in some respects. But like I said, based on the way the helmet fits my head, uh, this was tailored to fit Thrand, and I'm assuming the dough is the same as all the other pieces are tailored to fit him, not me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get Thrand in this armor and uh, get his opinion on how it fits and, and uh, kind of run down all the individual pieces for you and uh, tell you what qualities they have. And it looks magnificent. Uh, really, really it does. I can't wait to put it on and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Did you picture if someone walked in and had seen this day after day, like when I set it up in your office, to surprise you when you came home? And, and you just, they just stood up. That would have been crazy. It looked like somebody was sitting in it when I got home. I'll I be honest. This. Yeah, I'll be honest. When you did uh, when you did that, I, I was really surprised. I thought there was actually somebody sitting in that armor. That, oh, that yeah. dummy's pretty good. The way it the way it sits and everything. I is. love this mask and the kabuto, but it's hard to speak in it, so I might remove that. Oh, the helm is excellent. It's beautiful. The nippo's great too. The mask. That really surprised me. I can't. Uh, I was at work when this came in. I didn't even get yeah, a chance uh, to. My daughter was down, and my my uh, sons were acting up like uh, usual berserkers as they normally were. And I figured it was better to check everything in the box, get it out, and get it out of the way than the giant box that we could very barely carry around. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, sorry. We, we normally do an so. opening where we open the box for you, but I thought this was much better just to surprise him in his office by setting it up like you saw it here. Uh, because that way, you know, I mean, keeps out of the reach of the kids. They, they right, jump on the right, box. right, right. And we want to make sure everything wasn't damaged and so on. I'm pretty sure we knew what was in the box. And from what I understand, you told me it was really packaged tight. So oh, I mean, the shipping yeah. was done. Well it done. took us forever to open all that on, on camera and, then, and, then and assess what it was you. and how we were going to put it on. And all right, this. right. So that's kind of why we presented it this way. But it was, well, yeah, I was, I was shocked when I saw it. Hey, with the tatami armor that we have here, 
uh, we can actually have fights in it now. Yeah, we can. So that'd be kind of interesting. I mean, I'm a little outmatched, but I, I think oh, I can, yeah, I think I can fare we can pretty do well. Some, uh, do some I think, I, I think I'll do okay. Yeah. And, and did he not? Did we not find some plates in there that I left on top of this one? Yeah. I just now found out about these when I was putting it on. He's, these, this is one of the extra things we got, I believe, was some plates to repair right. this with. And so you excellent. can't see it, but you can see these are a slightly thicker gauge. Yeah. These plates are a thicker gauge than the ones uh, that we damaged. So anything we replace, you can hear them clinking around. Right. We've got to stitch them back on, stitch, stitch things back, back on. Maybe add a little fabric to the back of it. It'll Do some great. patching. Yeah. And this, th these are going to really help. So I guess that's yeah, what it's the... It's totally repairable. It survived all that well. Yeah. Well, I mean... Plates. Yeah, so I guess that's what, what the extra was that was donated, so that's kind of cool, along with a really neat banner. Uh, we got two of them, actually, but uh, got this really neat uh, Iron Mountain Armory banner, so that came oh, with it. Oh, that's one of the extras, and I believe the boxes, I'm not sure. The box is an extra. And yeah. the wooden uh, dummy or mannequin that it sets on, I believe it is. But uh, I, like the, I like the segmentation on the lacing on the Sode here. Uh, I think that's amazing. The Kasari is beautiful as well. This this, this uh, uh, male Cote, or chain yeah. work, yeah, on the Kote, the Kas the Kasari that joins the actual uh, Karuta, the plates. This, these are really small Karuta, the plates, and then the uh, the splinting or braces on the arm are a lot tighter than mm. on this one. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you got a lot more forearm protection. Uh, there's actually Kasari uh, that, that's on the actual uh, uh, Teco as well, the uh, gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, you know, I noticed these these karuta are differently shaped too. They're a little thicker than this, and they were also fluted, which gives them a lot more strength. They're less likely yeah. to bend like they did on this one. Right. So you got that. And the on sode there. is yes, I love these. I love I love the look and the design. Uh, and even this one has since it has the sode, it has the tie, so it doesn't go too far forward when you're fighting with your katana or with your yari. You can actually yeah, naginata, what Man. have you. I'm I'm literally green with envy. I love I the really... uh, I love the. Uh, Obi, and of course it came with a red sour sheet, which is the bandage. Uh, really artistic edition. I like it. Oh yeah, uh, and then we've got, uh, of course, we've got the uh, the uh, plates that hang, which are uh, right here. And I got the hadate, the true hadate scroll, the lake pieces, and then this is basically a type of hadate. And the greaves are excellent. I love these greaves. They actually are solid. They're they're like a solid greave. This. Uh, the Sonate. They're yeah. solid and they actually have the uh, knee protection. They're almost like European greaves. Yeah, and then they're made to look like if they're actually articulated, but they're not actually separate pieces. No. This is something they did later century. This is a later century design of them improving on the armor. That's why we see stuff here, like these pieces here. It's hard for me to this, show off. This, this actually has rings stitched in it. And they're either rings or they're uh, hexagonal. I'm not sure. It looks like a hexagonal pattern. No, they're hexagons. Yeah, and, and they're, they're metal in there, so you can't just cut through these these joints between that and the soda. So it protects the, the shoulder here, where this doesn't. So it's it's. I mean, you're as protected as you can be, other than certain areas that no Japanese armor protects, like under the, and no European armor protected under the armpit. Uh, the inside of the arm is one thing about it, but other than that's that, the I mean, that's thing traditional I think really, Japanese. It shares yeah. that in common with this. Yeah, inside the, the thighs uh, and stuff. I mean, those are areas that are very difficult to get if the guy's fighting, especially with, with a katana. Yeah, and in the Jodan position, this is all covered. You don't see any of that. Right. Um, Hasso, same type of thing. You're covered up. All this is covered in the arms. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you can see how this worked, and you actually have the protection on the neck as well and the face. And of course, the, the beautiful uh, Kabuto. Man, oh, I really yes. wish I had one. These I can't wait. So this awesome. is an extremely tough construction. You can tell this helmet is going to take a lot. But we were talking about the neck protection. You've got how it, oh, yeah. the and articulation. It, uh, what I love is when it breaks in, it moves so fluidly that your mm -hmm. neck is almost always covered. So that's why they didn't worry about gorgets and stuff. Mm -hmm. like that. Why this is but on display? Because I'm sure we're going to want to display this one. You can't really display, no, this display covered, that, on a, that on a dummy. You could actually put it in the box. So we can put your armor in here and we can put the display on top so we have a place to store yeah, it. Yeah, I thought see, about that. That's one an awesome idea. In the box and one that's an does. awesome idea. See, that clears up space in my office too because this is, uh, it gets so cluttered with all the stuff we get. That's actually not a bad idea. I like that. And it's such a lovely box I'll that, that I think you guys are going to really enjoy uh, seeing more of what we do with this. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, stick so my... So put it in there. You fucking <laughs> sly dog! <laughs> this guy... <laughs> That's 
that's a heavy pseudo armor he's picking up there in the box. That's that's a full that's a full another it's curious. It's not exact. It's not exactly as mine either. You can no, it's finish. really Check no, it really no. It's not an exact replica, no. But it's a beautiful no armor, way. nevertheless. You guys. It's just as high quality. You, it's just a different design. Check it out. I haven't, I haven't looked at the design online, but these here. guys. Oh look, and you have your own uh, Warazi. I, I believe there's some tabby down in there. It's hard to pull all this stuff out. Into you know, I was just I was just about to say that you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> you know that I was happy just to have. So you had no idea, right? Because I had to set in here that. I, <laughs> you sly dog. I kept. I was afraid. I kept being afraid. Look, that he was going to come in here and maybe take it off the stand and play around with. Well, it. no, I'm not a little kid. Well, yeah. He's a, he's I mean, I just empty. thought and just took it for granted. It was you, just. You totally assumed it was empty. I know you did. <laughs> hey, here's what you want to check My out. My birthday is two weeks away, and this is the best birthday gift anybody could ever and get. And this will not fit me. This is all made to fit you. <laughs> what do you think? If you can see my face, I'm literally grinning from one end of this mask to I the other. I got you, though. I know I did. You did. You, you both got me. Was this set up all, the, all along, or was it? Uh, yeah, kind of, because what happened is I had opened it and realized it, asked Mike about it. Knew I had to surprise you, and I had to think quick because I'd opened it without you. So actually, I'm gonna tell you the truth. There was two giant boxes, not just one. I said <laughs> I would one because I didn't want you to be. get on to the idea that it, you know, there might be more. Than I have to say, it's actually kind of easy to breathe through the mask. Oh yeah, uh, I find that comfortable. Believe it or not, and it I, seems very protective as well, more than you would think. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I find that the. Uh, I find the mask easy to breathe in. It's actually not too uncomfortable once you get it adjusted. Uh, the helmet is a perfect fit to my skull. So, uh, Bruce Tao, I gotta say, your people over there at your armory, those those guys know how to size somebody up. Just they by are looking some at armors. Them. Those are some guys that can tailor some armor, really. Right, because that's very difficult. They did it by eye, guys. This fits yeah. me like a glove. The whole thing, the the curious, uh, the cote, the everything fits absolutely perfect. And what I love is that it's a different finish. Oh yeah, most certainly. Mine is a high lacquer, uh, and it's they they don't use lacquers that damage the environment. They use something that's actually even better than lacquer. The uh, high dur durability paints. It's a paint like an enamel, but it'll actually it's even more scratch resistant than actually. Lacquer. You were telling me earlier while we were putting the armor on that this is actually made to specifications for us to fight in. Correct, correct. So we can fight in this. And I'm going to be honest. He's give me a hint that there was more that did not get shipped because there was a lot of rain going on. That's why it took so long for this to get done because they were having trouble working between the buildings of the armory not to damage the armor in the process. So they've had a lot of rain at his armory, uh, the Iron Mountain Armory, and there's other stuff that's going to be shipped. So I don't know what it is. He didn't say what it was, but he did say he had planned on us fighting in it. So if I was going to take a guess, You're I would say it's man. more stuff to be able to fight with. Possibly weapons, possibly yeah, something. I don't know. Who I knows? I don't know. I, I don't even I want to begin know. to guess with, with, with right. my last I don't Rita. know. I don't know. I cannot I, thank any, all of you yeah. enough. Thank all of you. Uh, oh, our most viewers, certainly. Our I donors. sincerely thank you. Because we can't, a lot of you like European stuff, but how can we compare other armors from other cultures if we don't actually obtain them as well? Sorry, we're big fans of Japanese armor. and We've been mentioned members of the Bujinkan for a long time. Correct. So, uh, I mean, as you know, we do videos for Anthony Cummins. So, well, speaking, of our, speaking of our viewers out there, they were gracious enough to donate. Be sure and contact me and tell me what size shirt you want. Depending on how much you donated, I may send two shirts if I can. Depending on, on if you donate enough to get a shirt, I will send you a shirt. We do have a limited supply of shirts this time. We only have about I, 18 left. But I believe that we will be getting more in the future. Yes, yes. If they, if, if all goes as well as planned, there will be more shirts. Right. In that case, we'll start probably giving them out for Patreon if we can. And That's other, right. Other things, so, if it's a large enough donation, that right. we afford to ship a shirt. It, absolutely. You speak true. And uh, I, I got to say, everybody, thank you so much for everything <laughs> you, you do so for much. us, all of your suggestions, everything you do for us, no matter what, how small or how great it is. We, we love you and we appreciate you for it. Uh, keep watching our channel. Be sure to like this video. Comment down below. Uh, give us suggestions for things you might want to see us do in the armor. Uh, you know, anything exciting or fun is always. On it. Yeah. Uh, so be sure to comment down below, like the video, subscribe. We'll put that sub button up for you. Uh, also, be sure to find us on Facebook. That's Thrandon Elgrimer's Well of Remembrance. That's our like page. Just click like for us, and uh, you'll get some great content out of that. Then there's the uh, Thane Thrand YouTube Boat Crew. That's on Facebook. You just type Close in the search group. engine yep. at the top of Facebook, and 
you ask for an invite, uh, we'll accept you gladly. And as long as you're good with everybody, you can uh, hook up with a really great community of our viewers that have all different kinds of skills from different walks of life. And they can do everything from every kind of era. Uh, people are armorers, weaponsmiths, and everything. So it's really great to hook up with the folks in the, in the boat crew. So definitely do that. Uh, don't forget about donating through Patreon so we can get really great equipment and stuff. Uh, we so keep we can... improving. We want to be the greatest channel out there. A lot of people say you love our channel more than any others. Uh, you want to see the quality improve. If you help donate there, we will certainly do it. If we can deliver, we will deliver. We that's will right. do everything we can do to give you the best of the best. So that's uh, w that's www.patreon.com slash thrand. And we also have our PayPal pal. That's uh, thanethrand at yahoo.com. You can also Here's send an email. Current. Right, that's the ID, but For you can also time. email us there, and yes. you can tell us what you want us to do with your funds if uh, you have a specific request. Uh, once again, thank you again, everyone. We're going to get right to the testing uh, on this armor and uh, show you what it can do and what we can do in it. And thank you again, uh, Michael Astorita and everybody at the uh, Iron Mountain Armory or Japanese-Armor.com. Uh, thank you all so much, and be sure and go by there and check out their fine products. I mean, this stuff is amazing. Also, if you use the code, as far as I know, if you use the code THRAND, uh, you will still get a 5% discount, and maybe like some Waraji Mirage, Mirage or something, depending on what you purchase, you'll get some extra gifts. Because he's trying to treat people from our channel like if they're us. Yeah, try to treat them like uh, like the kings they are, and you are Correct. all you kings. all are. You're all thank you, lords and uh, ladies out there. Thank you so much, uh, Mike. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you again. And farewell. Oh, oh.